In this video, I'm making the hoodie poncho scarf thing that Omen from Valorant wears. Let's do this. Not only I think the hood is very unique, but a garment like this doesn't really exist in menswear. And it could be an interesting piece to craft. A couple days ago, I went to the fabric store and stumbled upon that beautiful fabric. A cream white wool fabric. I felt the vibe. I had to buy it. I'm making the Omen poncho using a different color fabric to make it more wearable. Because let's be honest, for the Fortnite jacket video I made, it would have looked so much better in a different colorway, don't you think? One thing I wanted to do going on this project was getting craft paper to make a pattern. If I ever want to make a replica and modify details, this will allow me to go back on my past stuff. Also, if any of you guys want a creation of mine, I could make one now. That's how I see this thing going. I see a middle piece that will go in the front and the back of the model. Me here. That's my channel. I get to call myself a, a model. A man can dream, okay? Then will be sewn the hood that has a very interesting shape and a pointy tip. Then goes two asymmetrical capes with pointy ends leaning on one side. The same side. They go down to about the hamstrings area, basically. To finish, you have a side panel that covers one shoulder, connecting the front to the cape on the back. For the measurements, I clearly winged it based on past experiences with t-shirts and hoodies that you might have seen on my channel. After finishing all the cuts, I had to rearrange all my room to display the full fabric flat and making sure I had enough fabric for this project. So here, I'm finally done, we have all the pieces, and now let's just get started pinning and sewing. Started with the first layer and the first cape. Then the second cape, the hood, and the shoulder piece. At this point, I was done. I had the replica from Omen, but I want to take this an extra step. This didn't feel wearable, and I want to wear what I create. After brainstorming for a while and just thinking about what, what I could add, I decided to cut an extra piece of fabric and add it to the uncovered shoulder to sort of build some symmetry in the front, but not exactly. After cutting this piece, pinning it and sewing it to the garment, here's the final result. Are you ready? So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. For this outfit, I decided to pair the poncho in a very monochromatic uh, way. Uh, I first paired it with this corduroy uh, jeans from Uniqlo, beautiful piece that I actually have in this gray slash white, uh, like very light gray colorway. Uh, and I actually have the same one in dark green, which I love. Then I paired it with uh, this cream waffle sweater uh, that I've had for a few years from Uniqlo as well uh, and it's actually great the color is so well done it's so soft and I thought it would be a great like it would be a great color tones for the whole outfit and on the bottom you, what you saw was my uh, Chelsea boots from Bottega Veneta uh, I wear them a ton uh, this is actually my second pair because I destroyed the first one um, Look, I thought it was a really cool outfit. The goal here was to really blend the poncho and not make it caught the eye of a person who would see it. 
definitely, definitely an out there piece. I'm not saying that it wasn't that, but I wanted to blend it in, like make the whole outfit flow. Uh, so it looks like more of a detail from the front. And I thought the back looked hella sick, to be honest. I would love something with that on the back. I don't think it's a fabric that was meant for clothing. I would say it's a fabric meant for uh, like drapes, like for the windows and stuff like this. Um, and the second thing is I wish I made the front heavier. So on the B-roll, and I only noticed this when I saw the B-roll, is that it feels like the, the front is soft. It's like super thin and it, it just crumbles uh, with movement. And I don't want that. I thought it would be more solid looking. And so maybe adding like two or three layers of cotton so it really holds up and doesn't move as much, I think it would have been better. But look, it was a very cool experiment and I definitely want to do pieces like this in the future, going out of the comfort zone of, of myself, but also the comfort zone of men's fashion, which is a bit stale when you think about it. Thank you for watching guys. Make sure to subscribe and let me know what you thought in the comments and let me know what I should do next. Peace.